what did Jesus tell you as to why he took you to hell? When the Lord spoke to me and finally healed my heart, he said, I took you to hell because I love you. And if God had not shown that to me, if I died without him showing that to me, I know I'd be there right now. He loves me, and he's mighty to save, and in that instance, that's what it took. What do you believe is the biggest lie of the devil out there? I think once saved, always saved, and, and it's understanding as I, as I bump into people, I think that is a hell conspiracy. I think it's the biggest lie because the idea behind that, Sid, is that I'm going to give my life to Jesus today. He'll wipe away all my past sins, and it doesn't matter how I live anymore. I can, I can. But that's the new revelation of grace, not the biblical revelation. Correct. So what about something like the major Christian sin that I see that I've participated in, gossip? Yeah, you know, it grieves Jesus. It should grieve us. And so inside of gossip, why are we doing that first? Until you heal that, you will constantly do that. Really, you need to go to Jesus and get your identity first. Then inside of gossip, you have just murdered a person's reputation. This is very, very serious. Mm. You know, for myself, I've made, a, I've made a salt covenant with my tongue, with the Holy Spirit, because that is one of the first sins that I was guilty of. We think, well, it doesn't matter. Of course, every sin matters. It's recorded. So when you go to bed, you do something. <laughs> Tell do. me about that. I do. Uh, before I go to sleep, I, I, I talk to Jesus and I tell him how much I love him and I ask him, Lord, how did I do today? And sometimes he's like, Lori, you did this and you need to go fix it. And other times he tells me, you did this and I don't want you to do that anymore. And it, he uses it as a learning because there's a difference between um, immaturity and rebellion. And when I'm rebellious, I, he needs me to fix it. And if I'm just immature, he just trains me in a new way of doing things. Do you and can I have assurance of salvation? Absolutely. The blood of Jesus Christ saves us. Absolutely. Exclamation mark. And as a born again believer, we obey Jesus. Yeah. I've always lived my life. Uh, I repent a lot, and I find that if I'll do it instantly, rapidly, <laughs> it's easier than if I let it get infected in me. Right, yeah. right. Well, and I try and teach repentance in four parts. One, agree with God that what you're doing is a sin. Two, have godly sorrow over that sin. It's more than just being sorry. Sorry, you'll do it again. Godly sorrow hurts you. Three, you confess your sin one to another, and the Bible says you'll be fervently healed. And step number four, you have to put something in place in your life that you will never do that again. And so I teach that, and I help people figure out what number four do you need so that you don't sin against God again. Mm -hmm.